Hi, I'm Dr. Jacob Lartson, and this is Read, Write, and Cite, the show where I teach you how to read, write, and cite for your college classes. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about a source, maybe you're familiar with it, called EasyBib, that can help you to speed up the process when you're citing sources and uh, maybe make it a little more accurate. Now, I need to give a warning at the beginning of this video. In my experience as a teacher, um, this site has not always been perfect in getting the accurate information, but it is an amazing resource, especially if you already know how to cite and you just want a little bit of help or you just want to speed up the process. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to EasyBib. So here it is. I'm at easybib.com. And what it is, is it's, it's a great source for trying to figure out your, your bibliography, your references, your works cited page. And it could do it with different citation styles. I'm going to be using MLA as an example, just because that's most common for English. But you can do this for other styles like APA as well. So I'm going to start here at the top and click on I only want to create citations. And here we go. I can choose the kind of source that I'm doing, and it's going to guide me through putting the correct information in. Now, I've gone to the New York Times website. I clicked on an article, and right here at the top, I've got a link. I'm just going to hit Control-C to copy that link, and I am just going to paste it right here and see how much EasyBib can do by itself. So there it is. I'm going to click Cite and it's gonna search the page and try and pull out all the relevant information. So this is what it came up with. It's Mueller's investigation, but right behind him is Andrew Goldstein by Wayland and Schmidt, and this is the link. If this is the correct source, and it is, then I go ahead and click Cite. And then it's going to start asking me some questions. Okay, so they pulled out the title. They pulled out the URL. They pulled out um, the site, the date accessed, the date published. What they don't have is the publisher sponsor. And we're going to do that on the next page. So it's making this really easy. It's telling you what information it pulled and what information is left to get. So I'm going to click continue. And so it's going to walk me through how to add more information. And New York Times is also the publisher as well as the site. If you're not sure, you can go down. Most websites you can kind of tell because it's going to uh, have uh, copyright information. It calls it the New York Times Company. You could probably just put that in there if you want. And it's got all the correct information. And I'm just going to click Complete Citation. Now, the reason I did that is the name of the site is the New York Times. That's the name of the publication. But the owner is the New York Times company. That's why I, I differentiated that. So Complete Citation. And boom, it comes up with the information. There it is. Pretty cool, right? It's really simple. I can just copy and paste this. I can edit it, um, but it what it does is it just saves a whole bunch of time, which is the most important thing, right? Okay, now I can export this directly to a Word doc, a Google doc. I can just copy and paste it, or I can go from there. Now, in, in this right here, you see where it says ML8. The current version of MLA is uh, the eighth edition of the book. If I click on this, I can choose a different version to cite, like APA Chicago, whatever is relevant for what I need. But if I just want to copy and paste, I hit that, head over to Word. I'm just going to delete what I was working on here. And I go Control V to paste, and boom, there it is. Now, I would want to finish by actually double spacing this, which is part of MLA, but then I'm good. It's got all the correct information. Now, if you're not sure, you can always go back to the actual source. You can double check. It's going to, OK, is that correct title? Is, are those the correct authors? Is that the date it was published, the date that I accessed it? Go through the list. And you, you can check, check to make sure that everything is correct. And if you're happy, you go from there. 
but it's pretty simple, right? Like I said, if you aren't familiar with MLA or APA or whatever citation style, <laughs> it was my daughter's birthday and the streamer just fell down. Sorry about that. Um, if you aren't familiar with uh, citation styles, uh, you're going to want to kind of become aware of that. And I have other videos that that explain that on this on this channel. But once you kind of understand it and you just want a fast tool to get you through the process, this can help you out. It's not going to tell you when to cite. It's not going to help you find a source, but it can help you make sure that your work cited, your bibliography, your reference page is is accurate and it's going to guide you through that process. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, I know that this would have been a great tool for me when I was going through school and I, I hope it helps you out. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. If you have a request for a specific video you'd like to make, please let me know and I'll be glad to do it. I really appreciate your comments. I love hearing your feedback and, uh, and I hope this is helpful to you. Again, thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Jacob Lartson. This has been Read, Write, Insight. I hope you consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.